Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor, and I am currently contemplating whether I should put the word vape in the title of this video just to see how many false clicks I can bait people into. Was I brave enough to do it? Tell me. Hey everybody. So a friend of mine recently contacted me because he's starting to get into 3D printing and he wanted to know, he'd been doing some research and saw things about smoothing things with acetone and wanted to know whether he should get the materials for doing that with. Now, the short answer to that question is no, you probably don't, but here's the reason for it. When I first started 3D printing with my Replicator 1 here, we were all printing in ABS back then and ABS, is a difficult material to print in. We were always worried about enclosures and keeping the heat good because if he didn't, it would parts of it would start to shrink before other parts were, which would cause it to pull apart and, and cause splits and them. Big prints, thin walls, big problems. It was it was difficult to print in. But one advantage that ABS had, this is a part that I printed in ABS, is that you could use acetone to smooth the layer line. So you could print things in nice chunky layers and then use acetone to give everything a really, really pretty finish. This almost looks like an injection molded part. It's, it's so smooth and shiny and everything. And uh, this was a great technique for getting apparently higher detail and getting rid of those layer lines. It also kind of rubbed away some of the details of the prints, but as long as you were working with uh, high high levels of smooth walls that wasn't that wasn't a problem plus getting rid of those layer lines actually made the parts stronger made them so that there were fewer parts that it would crack assuming it didn't already crack in the printing process well that was years ago and now with 3d printing we're all using PLA. PLA kind of came into being and, and we've all added fans to our printer so that we can cool things down the moment they come out of the nozzle and PLA is the way to do it. Now PLA does not smooth with acetone. In fact, there aren't many things that you can smooth it with that you want to have around. It's, it's pretty nasty to try and get that to soften the outside and get rid of those layer lines. So for the most part, smoothing PLA involves usually a step of putting a two-part epoxy around the outside of it and smoothing it out that way. Not ideal, but you know, it's the way to do it. So because most likely the 3D printer that you get is going to do PLA and most likely you're going to use PLA first because it's just an easier material to print with, then no, you don't need to get an acetone vapor bath thing. Now, that's not to say that you don't want to do it later. I have a video that I made a while ago that I showed how you could use one of these steamer pots and put some acetone in there and heat it up, put your part in there, and it will create a fog bath in there that will smooth out your part. Now these days, I, don't I still use the pot for doing smoothing, but I don't use it in that way. If I do turn on the heat, it's just for a very little bit because acetone already wants to be a vapor at room temperature. So I just heat it up for a second, cause it to vaporize, and then turn it off so I'm not continually cooking the print, which might cause additional problems. Or I don't even turn on the heat at all. I just allow the acetone to vaporize at room temperature like it does. Now I find that that doesn't work very well for big parts. You don't need to be printing an ABS to take advantage of that. A material that I reviewed recently, ASA, also has similar properties. This is a part that was printed in ASA. This is a Connect scanner that I used to do some 3D scanning with, but I needed a handle for it. So I printed the handle and I smoothed it out and I did it in ASA. ASA is very similar to ABS, but it stinks less. I don't know if it puts off less difficult particulates. However, I did discover recently in a blog post that I wrote that, uh, ASA, I, when I first made my ASA review video, I said, oh, it's great, it prints just like PLA. Well, that's not quite true. It does shrink. It's still better than ABS though. And so I'm gonna keep ASA around and probably replace my ABS with it, but I'm still doing the lion's share of my printing in PLA because you can print as big as you want and you hardly have to worry about shrinkage at all with PLA. 
So there you go. Should you get a vapor bath to make your print smooth? The answer is it depends on if you're going to be using the materials that you can smooth with acetone vapor and chances are the answer to that is no. At least not at first, but you might get there eventually if you get a 3D printer that can do that. If your printer can only print PLA, you'll never have to worry about that. You'll also never get the advantages of these higher temp plastics, but at, at least you'll be able to print easily and you won't ever have to smooth them. Well, you won't ever be able to smooth them, but don't worry about it. You're getting good prints and you're getting them easy. That's the point of PLA. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about 3D printing, please send them to me. I like to be able to answer these questions and help people out with them. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, safety first, and I'll see you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The Beginner's Guide to the 3D Printing Galaxy is here, now. For you. Buy it on Amazon.